Hey guys, Alex here from Android Headlines, and we just got the Moto X in house, so we thought we'd take a little preview and see how how hard it is to set it up. Probably isn't too hard since it is basically stock Android, but you know the carriers sometimes add in some extra stuff, so we're just gonna check it out and see how it goes. So just select your language and click start, and just accept and continue the privacy agreement. Then your Gmail. Just hang on a second. And there we go, signing into my Gmail. And well, so far I'm kind of impressed. This is the Sprint version, and there is 4G. And I'm actually inside. Usually I only get Sprint 4G when I'm outside. So, it's looking good so far. I haven't done speed test yet, but I'll be comparing the speeds of all four carriers, because I have all four phones right now. And it's signing in. So. 4G must not be too fast. Maybe I should skip that. Let's go ahead and skip that. And let's do not now. <clears throat> So now you can go ahead and you can bring over all your, you know, your photos, your videos, music, call history, text messages, everything from your old phone, which I'm not going to do since I use phones so often. And that's the entire setup process. It's pretty quick. So of course you got NFC enabled and tells you about notifications. You got touchless control, which you have to set up to your voice and everything. Oh, and there's a software update. Ah. Try again later. So that's setting up your Moto X. 